Hey guys, it's Whitney with NatureHills.com and fall is so close. While we wait for the cool fall temps to follow, I came up with a list of some of the best fall blooming trees to add to your landscape. We see most of the blooming trees in the spring, but if you live in the right areas, you can keep the flower power all the way up until the first frost. Number five, Tianshan Seven Sunflower. While true horticulturists might not consider the second set of bright red calluses that form on this first edition's plant as a true bloom, I certainly do. And you would too, because they totally look like flowers. Tianshan starts the summer season with white flowers, which means that this plant blooms twice in two different colors. It gets to be around eight to 12 feet tall and five to seven feet wide and is known to attract butterflies and hummingbirds. Number five, Tianshan Seven Sunflower. Growing zones five through nine, white summer flowers and followed by interesting red calluses. Number four, fragrant tea olive. The appealing qualities of this tree go on and on. First of all, it's gorgeous and it'll bloom wildly fragrant, hence the name. White blooms in the early spring and continue on and off throughout the rest of the summer into fall. If you love lilacs but live too far south to enjoy their sweet scent, this is a great option for you. It'll get to be about 10 to 15 feet tall and 6 to 8 feet wide. Number 4, Fragrant Tea Olive, growing zones 7 through 11, beautiful patio plant in colder regions, and a great southern replacement for lilacs. Number 3, Bloomerang Dark Purple Lilac Tree. Speaking of, this plant is more of a shrub grown in a tree form, but I'm counting it because it looks like a little tree. These tree forms can be pretty hard to find, so if you happen across one or find it in stock, I suggest snatching it up ASAP. The Bloomerang Lilac line is known for its second flush of blooms that appear in late summer into early fall. With a mature height of 6 to 4 feet and a spread of 3 to 4 feet, it's the perfect size to make a statement in your front garden beds. Number 3, Bloomerang Dark Purple Lilac Tree. Growing zones 3 through 7, repeat bloomer, and a rare and unique interesting tree form. Number 2, Crepe Myrtles. You know I had to mention crepe myrtles. It's hard to narrow down to just one, but if you're looking for a taller tree form, I suggest Sioux Crepe Myrtle, which gets to be 12 to 15 feet tall and 8 to 10 feet wide, or Muskogee Crepe Myrtle, which gets to be 15 to 20 feet tall and 15 feet wide. You can also look for others. Any on our site labeled tree form are grown and pruned to have more of a tree shape than a shrub. Trees in the Crepe Myrtle family will bloom in the summer all the way until late fall. Number two, crepe myrtles. Most grow best in growing zones six through nine, dramatic long lasting flowers, and they come with a brilliant fall leaf display. And number one, autumn blooming cherry. I mean, it's right there in the name. Of course it's first on the list. Now, nothing beats the flower power of a flowering cherry in the spring, but this tree does a really good job of following that up with another worth watching each fall and winter in regions with milder climates. The second round of blooms will keep the pollinators happy and fed until it's time for them to bunker down for the winter. Look for the second set of blooms once the brightly colored autumn leaves fall and enjoy one of the last true flower displays of the year. This tree grows to be anywhere from 20 to 30 feet tall and 15 to 25 feet wide. Number one, autumn blooming cherry. Growing zones five through eight, rare fall flowers from a true tree and a great meal for the late season pollinators. And that's five trees to add to your garden to keep the flowering trees rocking and rolling all the way through fall. Which is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments, and make sure to keep an eye out for our video on bushes and shrubs that'll bloom until the first hard freeze. It'll be coming out in a few weeks. In the meantime, don't forget to start planning your spring landscape with us at naturehills.com. You can get some of the best kept tips and tricks on our hashtag ProPlantTips blog, or find all kinds of inspiration on our YouTube channel. If Pinterest and Facebook are more your style, then you're in luck because we have great content over on all our social channels. Check us out there or on Twitter and Instagram. And until next time, Happy planting.